friends it's the gift diva welcome back to my channel tonight i'm coming on to bring you a really quick project share um if you watched my last video my boxing for my happy meal you saw a little fabric heart that i did a little sachet sachet what can i say that word sachet <laughs> um so i thought i would try i have a i have a ton of different fabrics in my stash and so i thought i would try making uh some additional ones funny story okay or maybe not so funny story so the the this project was a struggle the struggle was real y'all it was real because i started out making with the products that i got from tuesday morning right i just pouring out the little fragrances from the little pouches that you get a tuesday morning turns out side note i might be allergic to those <laughs> because yeah crazy itching fit and a little redness so we had to put those to the side so i said well okay i can't use those what can i do so i said oh neat i'll make some like heart shaped stress relievers so i went to joanne's and i bought some micro beads if you don't know anything about micro beads let me just tell you they are not for the faint of heart because they have so much static electricity in them that the little beads just pop every they go everywhere so i had little white beads like all over my craft room so needless to say that is going back so then i said well i'll just make cute puppy hearts and you can dangle the the recipients can dangle them from a package or add them to a project in some way or hang them in their craft room whatever so that's where we are so i used fiber fill which is this Sorry. which is this stuff right here uh you use it for pillows and dolls and stuff toys and stuff and this worked out perfectly i just you know used that i sprayed it a little bit with some bath and body works fragrance mist so that would have a little smell to it so i don't know how long the smell will last but you know and i used um this honeybee stamps um die set that i've been having in my stash for a while it's called scallop hearts I'm not sure if Honeybee Stamp still carries this, but if they do, I will link it below. Um, so I use the, um, what are the hearts in this set? It comes, this is actually a pretty decent set. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it's a really, it's a really nice, um, really nice heart. So let me just quit jabbering and show you what I made. So let me show you my fails first. <laughs> so these are the ones with the stuff that might be um, I might be allergic to. <laughs> so, um, I used this fabric that I got from Tuesday morning. It came in, in like a, um, charm pack. Hold on. Sorry. I should be, I should be more prepared for this, but I am not, apparently. So, this I got this charm pack from Tuesday morning, and it was a little pricey. It was $19.99, but I love the fabric so much. I went ahead and got it. Um, but it has all sorts of pretty Valentine's Day all heart fabric. I mean, I'm sure I could find other uses for it. But it's just really like a repeating patterns. There might be six of each pattern in here. So I use that on, on these two. Um... And I say these are fails because these have the, the the seeds in them or the lavender or whatever it is. And even though I used, this was a no-sew project. I should start by saying that. And I was inspired by Pinterest and by Scrappy Bookworm. Um, if I can find her video that I watched where I was like, ooh, I want to make some of those, I will link it below. Um, but hers turned out beautifully and clearly she's not allergic. <laughs> so... Um, even though I used, I used a variety of different mediums, right? So I started out using, uh, Fabri-Tac. Didn't, I love Fabri-Tac for other things, but for this, see, see that? See how it's coming out? That's why, that's why these are fails, because I've got stuff coming out of the ends of this. So I tried Fabri-Tac on some of these, and let me just get this out of the way so I won't start itching. Sorry. Um... I used Fabri-Tac on some of these. It didn't work. Didn't come through. 
uh, the, the stuff came through. So I went, I left Fabri-Tac and came to this Eileen's Fabric Fusion. This works better. Um, and on some of them I use um, her uh, clear gel tacky glue. I like the clear gel tacky glue for this project better than I do the Fabric Fusion. But I was going through my stash and I found something better. I found her Fabric Fusion sheets, her adhesive sheets. These things, once they stick, they are not going, your project is not going anywhere. And it adheres to, fa it, it's fabric on fabric adhesion. So it's really, you can pre-wash the, you can wash this. Um, you can't use it on synthetic or stretchy fabrics, but everything else, um, you're golden. So I love this. I need to find some more of this. There are only five sheets in here. And I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby a uh, hundred years ago uh, when they start, first started doing the clearances. So I need to go back and see if they actually had this because I love it. Um, so these three are the fails because stuff's going everywhere. It's got the itchy stuff in it. And so even though um, they're kind of, you know, I love the fabrics and stuff and they're, I don't know, they're fails. So let's move on to happier things. So let me show you what um, came out pretty decently. I need practice, but th these came out pretty decently. So look at these. Aren't these cute? So this fabric came from another charm pack um, like uh, that I got that, that you just saw. The love pack. It's late, y'all. I'm sorry if I'm babbling. Um, and it's all pink fabrics. Like kind of like a shabby chic floral, heavy floral, pink screens. Really pretty pack. Um, so I, I used one of those sheets and made this one which is really pretty. Then this fabric I got online at uh, Spoonflower. I think Spoonflower. And so they were having like a get to know us introductory sale because normally stuff on Spoonflower is really expensive. But I bought a couple of fabrics um, from there with this introductory offer. You could try like a charm, like a quarter, fabric quarter for a little or nothing so I bought a couple of fabrics so this is um it's a cute little eyelash trim and I found this eyelash trim ribbon in my stash that turned out cute I thought with little bling I got these two things from AliExpress these little bows and these little flowers I bought from AliExpress these little diamond centers also from AliExpress um so those current came out really pretty I thought and then um this I got at Hobby Lobby. It's the uh, LOL Girls fabric. Really cute. I love these. And they um, they came out really cute, I thought, with little girls on them. And so those are really cute. And then this is another spoon flower. It's a, like a, it's a whole sheet of like sewing cartoons. It's so cute. I showed it in a previous video, a haul video. But I cut it up um, into the, the little scallop hearts to make this one just to see how it would look. Just because it's kind of a different pattern. But I thought it, I think it came out really, really cute. So I love that. Loving that. Then I found this fabric in my stash as I was finishing up. I have no idea where I got this from. Joanne's. Joanne's Remnant Bin. Uh, really pretty. Uh, these are from, uh, I don't know where I got these hearts from. But the bow is from AliExpress. This is a Michaels ribbon. So really, really cute. And then lastly, I did I did uh, 10 of these. This fabric. I got this fabric, believe it or not, at, um, I want to say Walmart. I think it's Walmart. This couture, this cute little couture fabric. And the little bows, again, from AliExpress. The flowers from AliExpress. It's a really cute fabric pattern. I thought those were really cute. So these were really cute. To, you can hang them. Um, like I said, you can hang them from a project. Um, this would be really cute on a loaded bag. Um, or you can hang them in your craft room. Or you can um, put them on your desk at work. Whatever. Um, I just thought they were really cute. And they're so cushy and soft. With the fair. I should have just did polyfill from the beginning. So these are really, really cute. I love these. I hope you like them too. Really pretty. And again, say goodbye to the fails. They're very sad. Um, <laughs> I hope you like this video. I hope you like the project. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. 
I am almost at 300 subscribers. Is that not mind blowing? I don't even know. So I think I might be headed to a giveaway. Plus it's my birthday next month. So we're going to be doing some partying on this channel with giveaways. Yay. Yay. So like this, like this video. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thumbs upping, liking, all those things, sharing my video with other crafters. I mean, that is truly how my channel has grown through through the power of referral so i really appreciate all of you who mention me in your videos who tell people to come check me out i mean i just love you guys so much you are the bomb diggity so have a great evening and i will catch you in the next craft video thank you